Good evening, everybody. It's Tabby Cat. I've been very busy today. This is why I'm doing this now at 5, 18 at night. So, I posted a video of Tub Boy and Evil Creature. And I almost fell off my chair. Okay, they have a, they believe in conspiracy theories. I'm not into that. I don't buy conspiracy theories. But there is a fraction of things that he said that actually made sense. But the one thing I thought those two were off out of there for forever cockamamie minds. Seems that Don Wells had said, if I remember correctly too, something about he needed like money, like $50,000. And... evil creature and her husband had offered to pay a ransom that they were going to raise the money. Why would you want to raise the money? Do you actually believe him? And of course Don said, no, no, you don't have to do that, you don't have to do that. Don has been spreading around a lot of BS for two, almost two years now. I wouldn't believe a word that came out of that man's mouth. The things that he has said about his own daughter is disgusting. And then, of course, you know, he he made a point and said, you know, is Candace lying out of fear or is she lying basically out of guilt? My answer is she's lying to cover up for herself and for somebody else. Because you cannot tell me in less than a minute and you're supposed to be at your mother's little trailer which is very thin walls in those little trailers and her back steps face the back door one way and you can see the front door from right right across from the um trailer how can you not hear a stranger coming up anywhere on that property without sound or without the dogs barking if you're outside supposedly allegedly fixing a knee brace it doesn't make sense and then you give another story saying no I went in the house and the boys said that you know she went down the basement to play and I went down there searching for her and she wasn't there meanwhile the back door is locked that made no sense to me there's a lot of what she says that does not match up including her timeline there's a three hour difference in that timeline between 3 30 ish right and 6 30 ish there's there's you know there's something missing what did you do between those hours why did you call the police right away if you knew your daughter was missing, why didn't you call your, the police right away? Why did you stop to call Donnie and stop to do this? And then you said that you left that property twice. You left that property twice now. You told somebody that you left to search for her and drive around the neighborhood. And then there's a letter that has been read that you were spotted on Light Hollow Road at 345 in a truck. Why were you on Light Hollow Road in a truck near the wooded area at 345? Because you were also seen at the wooded area on a rainy day on June 21st. That does not make sense to me unless you're up to something. How close am I on that? So, he, here's the other thing. Robin Lane, I got a thing where where <clears throat> Evil Creature had a talk with her. Well, not a talk with her. Robin Lane left her a message because she wanted to interview her. Obviously, she inserted herself in this case, uh, like every other case she's in. And um, Robin Lane's a little wacky. She's a little bit of a wackadoo. I don't like her. There's something about her I don't like. She's not somebody I would personally be friends with. She's a little bit ditzy. She reminds me of a Stepford wife. Very controlled, very 
you can't do this unless you ask me kind of thing. And supposedly, they were saying that Tim M. knows Robin Lane through that church a pretty long time. And the videos that we've seen of Summer running around the church was actually filmed by Tim M. Now, that's alleged, because I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what they're saying. They believe all this conspiracy stuff, and I don't. So I'm just going to say it's all alleged, but Robin is kind of weird. So I will play that call. I will play that video tomorrow. I did snip it. Um, thank you to the 145 new subs. I appreciate you. Thank you for joining my, my, my uh, YouTube. Thank you for leaving me messages that you love my YouTube. I try. I know I get some haters that don't that didn't like something I posted or said about Candace's friend Kathy. I don't care if she's been out for nine months and she was on somebody's, you know, thing. But you need to not insert yourself in too much of this. Just in my opinion. There's too many, too many people already in the pot. Also, there was a creator today that I actually unsubbed from. I was so upset with that person. You sit in a corner, the creator's liars. You're sitting there accusing them of things. You're sitting there stating that they said something that they didn't say. Nobody never said anything. And, and I will say, Ellie has not said that anybody's not a suspect. Everybody is still a suspect. And until that comes out of a person's mouth that belongs with TBI or LE, that's the person I'm going to believe. Not some moron that goes on to a panel and says, well, I was secretly told I'm no longer a suspect. Yeah, right. You're still a suspect, Don. So is your wife. So is your mother-in-law. So is JSB. Everybody is still a suspect. And unless the police come out and say otherwise, I'm going to wait and see on that. Well, other than that, there is nothing really new. It was sunny today, actually. The sun was out. I didn't get to go out and enjoy it, but we had blue skies. They're claiming we're going to get snow showers tonight. We'll see. But like I said, I have a little snippet here and there. I'll probably be snipping some more tomorrow if I have time because oh, there's some doozies you all have got to see. So we're going to have new clips. But I just wanted to share that one clip that they were actually going to help him pay a ransom. You people are you people are a toolbox short of a thousand screws, legitimately. I mean, I would never ever offer and say, "I'll pay your ransom off for you. I'll raise money, like you do everything else you raise money for for you." You know that? No, mm -mm. I can't say what I'm thinking right now, people. I have to behave. Sorry. But no, mm -mm. you don't, you don't offer, you, you, you knew in your hearts that this isn't true. And I don't believe that someone was kidnapped. In my opinion, and I'm sticking to it, I do not believe that she was kidnapped. There's no way. If she was kidnapped, don't you think that those dogs would have barked their heads off? I mean, they did it with somebody who came up and did an interview with them. Don't you think that those dogs would have barked if a stranger came up that hill either way towards that house or towards a child that they protect and alert you and be loud enough that grandma would have heard it from her from her from her trailer? You can't tell me you were sound asleep taking a nap and you didn't hear anything. That's BS. Those walls and those trailers are those little trailer homes, they're very, very thin. You can hear everything. Okay, and then you can't tell me in that home that you lived in Candace that you didn't hear anything because that house wasn't that soundproof. So I'm not buying that. I don't buy it. I haven't bought it. I don't believe that she was kidnapped. But I will play the other clips tomorrow. I hope that everybody has a good evening tonight. Stay safe, stay drying if you're going to expect to get bad weather later. Have a nice night. Bye-bye.